Stay informed. Isolation versus quarantine. What's the difference between isolation and quarantine? Isolation and quarantine are really two different terms. A lot of people do use them interchangeably, but they do really mean two different things. Isolation refers to the timeline that someone has to remain isolated or at home when they're infected with COVID-19. Whereas quarantine refers to the state of someone who's been exposed to the virus. They are not infected, but they've been around someone with COVID-19. They are not exhibiting any symptoms. They have not tested positive, but we are requiring them to stay home and to monitor for those symptoms. I've tested positive for COVID-19. How long do I need to isolate? When you think of someone who's infected with COVID-19, they are on what we call isolation. Vaccination status does not come into play when someone is infected with COVID-19. And even the degree of symptoms can vary. Some people have very minimal to no symptoms versus some that have very severe. That isolation time frame is determining on how long those clinical symptoms last. So if you have mild COVID-19, and then after your five days of isolation, on day six, if you're clinically feeling better, if you do not have a fever without the use of any fever-reducing medications, and you're able to consistently mask, you can come out of isolation. However, if you still are not feeling well, and you have ongoing symptoms, and you still have a fever, it is not recommended that you come out of isolation at that time. How long do I need to quarantine after being exposed to COVID-19? So when determining whether or not someone has to quarantine after they've been exposed to the virus, because keep in mind, they're not infected. They don't have COVID-19. That's where that vaccination comes into play. So if you've been around someone with COVID-19, then you've been exposed and you're fully vaccinated, you're up to date with all of your doses, you do not have to quarantine. Again, assuming you have no symptoms and you're up to date with vaccines. That's different in the event that you are not up to date with your vaccines or perhaps you've never been vaccinated. That's when we are going to recommend the minimum of a five day quarantine. And you can come out on day six, again, assuming you have no symptoms, you're feeling well, but you have to be able to mask for a minimum of five more days when you're in an indoor setting. What's considered a positive exposure? There's many different types of exposure, some being more higher risk than others, but generally we use two different criteria to determine exposure, and that's distance, so someone who is positive within less than six feet of you, and time, more than 15 minutes. So it goes back to that six feet, 15 minute rule.